नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी भवतु में जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी भवतु कदाचित कालिंदे तट विपिन संगीत करावो कदाचित कालिंदे तट विपिन संगीत करावो मुदा भीर नारी वदा कमल स्वद मधुप मुदा भीर नारी वदा कमल स्वद मधुप रमा शंभु ब्रह्मा मर पति गणेशा चित पदो रमा शंभु ब्रह्मा मर पति गणेशा चित पदो जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी भवतु जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी भवतु जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी भवतु Oh, my God. 
Chaitanya and his devotees rose to attend Lord Jagannath's Ratha Yatra. First is the Pahandi Vijaya. At that time, 
Lord Jagannath is brought out of the temple to his parents. Ratha Yatra is the Lord's journey from the Jagannath temple, which in this particular Leela represents Kurukshetra, where Krishna is performing his Dwarka Leela and bringing him to Sundarachala, where the Gundicha temple resides, representing Vrindavan. Lord Jagannath and Sri Balaramji, they are feeling intense separation for Vrindavan. They are so eager to return to Vrindavan. In their ecstatic anticipation, they are intoxicated like drunkards. You will see during the Pahandi Vijay how Lord Jagannath and Balaram are moving like the supreme personality of drunkards. You have seen how drunkards try to walk, but that is just an infinitesimal spark in a perverted reflection of the supreme Purnam drunkardness of the Lord. They decorate Lord Jagannath and Balaram with big, big crowns made out of bamboo sticks and various flowers and decorations. And as the Lord is moving, he is swaying backward, forward, sideways, intoxicated in separation from Rajpuni. The deities are very big. They are being carried by the deities. So many! Some holding his feet, some holding his arms, his shoulders, some behind his head. Big, thick, silken rope is there to help carry him. The deities are so heavy that they have large pillows called tulis that they sometimes drop the Lord on. Actually, they set him on those pillows, but the Lord is so heavy, sometimes the pillows break and the cotton goes up into the sky to celebrate the glories of Lord Jagannath. Lord Jagannath, Balaram, and Subhadra were brought up to their carts. Shri Jagannath, Baladev, Subhadra, Ki. Kadachat Kalindi, Tata Vipina, Sangita Karavo. Tapiri nari vadana kama nasvada madupa. Tapiri nari vadana nasvada madupa. Rama shambhu brahma marapati Chita Pado Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Pavatume Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Bhuje Savye Venum Sirasi Siki Picham kati pate. Dukulam netrante sahachari sataksham vidatate. Oh. 
Radha Srimad Vrindavan Navasati Lila Padichayo Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Bhavatume Mahambodestire kanna karuchire nila sikare Mahambodestire kanna karuchire nila sikare Vasan prasadanta sahaja bala padri na balina Subhadra Madhyasta Sakala Sura Seva Vasarado Subhadra Madhyasta Sakala Sura Seva Vasarado Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Kripa Paravara Sajala Jala Dasre Nuruchira Rama Vani Rama Spura Ramala Panke Ruha Mukha Surendri Radya Sruti Gana Sika Gita Charita Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Rudho Kachan Pati Milita Budeva Patalai Stuti Pradur Pavam Prati Padamupa Kanyasataya Daya Sindhu Bandhu Sakala Jakatam Sindhu Sutaya Daya Sindhu Bandhu Sakala Jakatam Sindhu Sutaya Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume
जगन्नाथ स्वामी नायन पक्ष कामी भवतु मे Param Brahma Pida Kuvalaya Tato Kulanayano Nivasini Ladro Nihita Charano Nanta Sirasi Rasa Nandi Radha Sarasa Vapur Alingana Sukho Jagannath Swami Nayana Patakami Bhavatune Jagannath Swami Nayana Patakami Bhavatume Jagannath Swami Nayana Patakami Bhavatume Navaya Cherajam Nachakana Kamanikya Vibhavam Nayache ham ram yam sakkala janak ham yam varavadu Nayache ham ram yam sakkala janak ham yam varavadu Sada kale kale pramata pati nagita charito Jagannath Swami Nayana Patakami Bhavatume Jagannath Swami Nayana Patakami Bhavatume Jagannath Swami Nayana Patakami Bhavatume Haratvam samsaram drutataram asaram surapate Haratvam papanam vitatim aparam yadavapate Dine nate nihita charano nishchita midam Jagannath Swami Nayana Patagami Bhavatume Jagannath Swami Nayana Patakami Bhavatume Jagannath Swami Nayana Patakami Bhavatume Lord Jagannath sometimes makes the melodious sounds of playing music and singing throughout the groves on the banks of the Kalindi River. He is like a bumblebee experiencing great delight while tasting the nectar of the lotus-like faces 
of the cowherd damsels. His lotus feet are worshipped by great personalities such as Lakshmi, Shiva, Brahma, Indra and Ganesh. May the Lord of the universe kindly become visible unto me. In his left hand he holds a flute, upon his head is a peacock feather, and around his hips is a fine silken cloth. From the corner of his eyes he casts sidelong glances upon his loving companions. He is most fond of the pastimes he conducts while living in Sri Vrindavan. May that Lord of the universe kindly become visible unto me. On the shore of the great ocean is a large palace that glows with the effulgence of solid gold and is topped by a towering temple spire that appears like a blue sapphire mountain. Residing therein, along with his mighty brother Balabhadra, and in between them his sister Subhadra, Lord Jagannath bestows opportunity for all godly souls to render various devotional services. May that Lord of the universe kindly become visible unto me. He is a fathomless ocean of causeless mercy, and his beautiful complexion is like a cluster of blackish rain clouds. He derives great pleasure by hearing the words of affectionate chastisement from his beloved goddess Lakshmi. His face is like a fully blown spotless lotus flower. He is worshipped by the best of demigods and sages and his character and activities are glorified in song by the topmost personified Upanishads. May that Lord of the universe kindly become visible unto me. As the Lord mounts his Ratayatra cart and parades along the road, there is a constant accompaniment of loud prayers and songs chanted by large assemblies of saintly Brahmins. Hearing their hymns, Lord Jagannath is favorably disposed toward them. He is an ocean of mercy, and he is the true friend of all the worlds. May that Lord of the universe, along with his consort Lakshmi, who was born from the ocean of nectar, kindly become visible unto me. He is the ornament adorning the head of Parabrahma, the supreme spiritual reality. His eyes are like the blossom petals of a blue lotus flower, and he resides in the Nilachala temple that resembles a sapphire hill. His lotus feet are placed upon the heads of Lord Anantadev. He is overwhelmed by the flow of transcendental loving mellows, and he becomes happy only by embracing the divine form of Srimati Radharani. May that Lord of the universe kindly become visible unto me. I certainly do not pray for a kingdom nor gold, rubies, and wealth. I do not ask for an excellent and beautiful wife, which is a possession desired by all ordinary men. I simply pray for the Lord of the universe, whose glories are sung by Lord Shiva from age to age, to kindly become visible unto me. O Lord of the demigods, Please quickly take away this useless material existence that I am undergoing. O Lord of the Yadus, please destroy the boundless accumulation of my sinful reactions. It is certain that Lord Jagannath bestows his lotus feet upon those who feel themselves humble and helpless. May that Lord of the Universe kindly become visible unto me. Shri Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Ki When Maharaj Indra was just about to perform his last yajna, he took rest at night and had this dream. In that dream he saw the Lord of Svetadvipa. Shri Vishnu, 
laying on Ananta Shesha, this beautiful form, blue like a sapphire, Lakshmi Devi massaging his lotus feet. Indra Maharaj considered this not only an ecstatic experience, but all auspicious. The next morning, he explained to Narada Muni what he had seen. Then they performed the last of the 1,000 yagyas. King Indrajumana began to walk to the sea to take his ceremonial bath. At that time, some very, very pure-hearted devotees who were intimate associates of King Indrajumana came running from the sea. They said, Dear King, what we have seen, it is a great miracle. We have never seen anything like this. What have you seen? Tell me, please. From the ocean, there was a divine tree. We had never, ever, ever seen a tree like this. It had four branches, which perfectly represented the four arms of Vishnu. This tree was effulgent. Its fragrance filled the entire atmosphere with such sweetness. We looked on this divine tree, the most beautiful thing we have ever set our eyes on, and the marks of Vishnu, the Kanksha, and the Chakra were upon the tree. It has just washed to the shore. Please come and see. King Indrajumana turned to Narada Muni and asked him, what is this tree that they're talking about? What does it mean? Narada Muni explained, this is not an ordinary tree of this world. This is Daru Brahma. It is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, who has appeared in this world as this tree. Do you remember the dream that you had last night? You saw the Lord of Svetid weep. In that dream, the Lord of Svetid weep dropped one of the hairs from his own body. It fell into the ocean and turned into this wooden tree. Now, according to the will of the Lord, Vishwakarma will come and he will carve the deities of Jagannath, Balaram, Sudarshan, and Subhadra. King Indra had a royal procession with this tree back to the place where the Aswamedha Yagyas were taken. This main altar of the Yagyas is called the Mahavedi. He brought the tree with divine hymns of the Vedas and transcendental chanting of the holy names in procession to the Mahavedi. There he installed the tree. He built a covering around the tree so that no one could see it. At that time, Vishwakarma appeared as an old carpenter and told the king that I will carve the deities. However, everything must be so much closed off that no one sees what I am doing for at least 15 days. Then I will complete the job. Vishwakarma began to perform the lila of carving Lord Jagannath. After 15 days, Maharaj Indrajumana felt it must be done and there's no sound of any chiseling. So in great eagerness, he entered the doors. There he saw the deities appearing in an unfinished condition. They had no proper arms, no proper feet. 
He thought, I must have entered before the carpenter had finished. He warned me that if anyone came in, he would stop the work and not continue. After all this trouble, look at what I have done. Such a misfortune. King Indrajumana decided to fast till death for the offense that he had committed. But Narada Muni explained that actually the deities are complete. This is the form that the Lord will be worshipped on the hill called Niladri. I will explain to you. In the previous millennium, Krishna living in Dwarka. The queens of Dwarka were very much eager to hear about Krishna's Brajalila. So the queens of Dwarka, they were very much eager to hear of Krishna's Vrindavan pastimes. But who knows these pastimes? There's one person in Dwarka besides Krishna and Balaram who had personal eyewitness experience. That is Rohini Devi. Rohini Devi told the queens that if I begin to speak Vrindavan Lila, immediately Krishna and Balaram will know that I'm speaking Braja Lila and they will come to hear and they will become so much ecstatic I won't be able to continue my narration. So if you want me to speak Someone must guard the door and tell us when Krishna and Balaram are coming. Subhadra said, I will do it. I am their sister. I will stop them. Subhadra stood right in the center of the doorway. Rohini Devi began Vrindavan Kata. Krishna Balaram immediately understood Vrindavan Kata is going on. Let's go listen. Meanwhile, upon hearing about the love of the residents of Braja, Subhadra became ecstatic. Her arms entered her body, her legs entered her body, her eyes became dilated, she had a huge ecstatic smile on her face, and she became as paralyzed as a piece of wood. Standing in the center of the doorway, Krishna came and stood on one side of her and Balaram on the other side, listening with rapt attention to Vrindavan's Leela. As Rohini Devi began to explain the loving devotion of the gopis, and the topmost of all gopis, Srimati Radharani, what is her love for Krishna? What is her Leela with Krishna? Upon hearing the glories of Srimati Radharani, Krishna and Balaram entered into such an intense state of separation from Vrindavan that their arms and legs entered into their bodies, their eyes became enormously annihilated, an ecstatic smile stood on their face. They became paralyzed like pieces of wood. At this moment, Narada Muni, playing upon his veena, Narada Muni Bajai Veena Radhika Ramana Name, happened to see this darshan of Jagannath Subhadra and Balaram. He started to cry out in ecstasy, I have seen, I have seen, I have seen this darshan, the most beautiful, illustrious darshan of Krishna in his Mahabhava Prakash, showing his ecstasies due to the separation in his heart, due to his love for Radharani. At that moment, Krishna, Balaram and Subhadra resumed their original forms. But Narada Muni said, I've already seen it. He prayed to Lord Jagannath Krishna for a benediction. Krishna said, I will award whatever benediction you desire. Let there be somewhere on this earth where this particular darshan that I have seen 
of you, Krishna, along with your brother and sister, in the ecstasies of separation from Vrindavan and the love of Sri Radharani. Let this darshan be somewhere on earth always. Krishna said yes, just north of the southern sea, just south of the Mahanadi River is a hill called Niladri, which is in the very heart of Purushottam Chetra, my eternal abode. On the top of that hill, these forms, Krishna, Balaram, Subhadra, will be installed. They will give their darshan. And anyone who comes and sees those forms of mine will be liberated of all their sinful activities. And anyone who worships these forms with devotion will attain my eternal abode. Sri Jagannath Swami Ki! <laughs> Narada Muni explained that this is the will of the Lord to appear in this form. Now we should build a temple for the Lord. temple was complete, King Indrajumana Maharaj wanted to have a royal procession to bring Jagannath, Balaram, Subhadra and Sudarshan to his new temple. According to Brahma's instruction, they created three carts, beautiful, divine carts, to carry each of the deities. Balaram was on one cart, Subhadra and Sudarshan was on another, and Jagannath was in the rear. That procession was the original Rathayatra. King Pataparudra took the simple dress of a street sweeper, holding a broom with a golden handle. He performed the most menial service of sweeping the street for Lord Jagannath. As he swept, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's heart melted. This is opulence to have greatness and power and still to be humble. That is the true opulence of renunciation. Rupa and Sanatan Goswami, when they were living in Ramakali, they were beautiful, they were young, they were strong, they were billionaires, they had palaces, they had strength, they were the prime minister and home minister of the entire kingdom. Yet any guest that came to their Bhagavat Kathas they would personally come down from their seats, offer obeisances with great humility, serve them prasad, give them a residential quarters. They were very embodiments of humility, meekness, and the desire to serve the servants of the Lord. In the Indian culture, a street sweeper is such a low state. They're called bhangis. Maharaj Pataparuja assumed the simple, humble role 
role of a street sweeper before Lord Jagannath and his devotees. And Lord Chaitanya understood it was a genuine expression of his menial desire to serve. And his heart melted. It was then and there that the Lord decided that I will bestow my full mercy upon this devotee. Srila Prabhupada explained during a Ratayatra ceremony in San Francisco that Ratayatra is the emotional love of the heart of a devotee to bring Krishna back into our hearts, the heart representing Vrindavan. This should be the meditation of all of us as we see the Rath of Jagannath Balaram and Subhadra moving along the grand road of Puri, that we are bringing Krishna back into the sanctified abode of our heart to reveal Vrindavan.